morning, Jules here from Jules Designs at JT Creations. So what we're doing today is we're going to make some wraparound um, with tags. So here's one. And we'll just take that out of there. So it's just a tag and it's got a wraparound. So the back bit is a pocket to put tickets and tags in and things like that. We've put a little book page tag, um, a little book page pocket there, and then the wrap around. It's off the end, and the wrap around doesn't doesn't fit um, neat. It's not edge to edge which is fine if you want it edge to edge then you need to make it a little bit longer so that's that and that will then just fit into a pocket in your journal um, but I think what we might do is we might make a, a little pocket for this tag so I've already cut some tags out um, and these will come as a freebie. Um, it will be in my coffee now. So you'll be able to download it. And it's three, three tags. There are some other things. And it's the one's got winter berries. One's got winter vibes. And the other one's got a girl that just loves winter <laughs> i'm not that girl because i don't like the winter i'm off to cyprus and the tag is actually three and a half inches by just over six inches so three and a half inches and the wrap around is just over seven inches. So three and a half inches and three and a half inches make seven inches. So how I worked it out is we want three and a half and then we've got three and a half. Well. We've got three and a sixth, so we want one and a half and one and a half and then two and then three and a half. So what we're looking for is one and a half, one and three quarters, just over one and three quarters. And fold that one in and you can see it doesn't come to the middle and then we put that in there and we decide whether we want it at the bottom or if we want it slightly in the middle But I think I like it at the bottom. So we'll put that away. And what I want is I want um, a little page pocket here. And I just want it as deep as the, the ruler. So we'll just rip that off. And I'm 
don't want it to cover there and this this book page has been glued um to another one so it is it is doubled so what i'm going to do is i'm going to And then I'm just putting that in the middle. If it's not exactly in the middle, that's fine. I'll not be too worried about it. And I've got some um, little tags. And it's just a tag tag punch. Um, usually when I've got spare bits of card, strips of card, I usually get the, the tag punch out and do do some tags and this one has the I've, you can see I've done that so what I kept this one for because I thought it might make a nice tag topper so again And I'm still swithering whether to stitch this one in. Um, yep. And I should have put a little thumb notch in there first. But what we can do is we can still do that. Just guessing the there we are. So I am just gonna go away and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stitch round, 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 round there. So it'll it'll go that way. So it won't interfere with that pocket and it won't interfere with that pocket. So I will see you in a bit. Hi, that's me back. So that's, I've stitched it. And you can see, because I, I started there, so I did a couple of backwards and forwards round and then finished. And it's just so it stays. And I did it under there like that. So we've got these little tags to go in. And then I've got some little um, tags here that will go in. And I might put these on. These are uh, just these um, I printed off two to a page so that I got them smaller to fit in. And it's just it's got a nice journaling area so I'm just going over with the ink and we'll put that in there um, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else what I might do is I might put one of these in but I need to trim it down a little bit but I think what we'll do is we'll put some more ink around the edges and I'm swithering whether to give it um I'm going to do the angle. I'll do it on all.
There we are. I think we'll. And what I'm doing is I'm just getting the middle. It's the middle, and I'm just marking where I want the. And this is where I'm going to punch the holes. And it's the smaller this, the one eighth hole I'm punching. And then that way I get them lined just about right. Two square ones. I'm going to put a bigger hole in there and we'll get a oh. I think I'll put a gold one in I was going to put a silver one in but we want something for this and I think I might just do a little bit of boopage actually um, let's see if I can cut this yep okay so to make a, a wheel tail out of a circle punch I should have maybe done a bigger circle So we've got that shape and then what you do is you bend it back and there you've got your whale tail shapeish. So I'll do it again. I'll do it with a bigger circle so you can see. the bigger one there we are so we'll put some
And we'll put little holes in these as well. I'll not put grommets in these because as well so before I fasten that um I'm just looking for evergreen chili. Okay. And there we have two two tags. So you can see that I did that one there. And they are quite nice. So what I'll do is I'll I'll have a go at doing one with um I'll see if I can get my big punch to punch two amounts of paper. I doubt it, but So this is a two inch punch. And what I do is I turn it in half and put it the outer way in equal like that. So you've got that. Then you open it up and you fold it in half that way. And there you are. So we can do that. So we'll do it again. So fold it in half. If you haven't got a punch, just do a circle like that. You know, just. And I'm just looking to make sure that that is draw around another circle so you've got that. So basically it's just a large circle and a small circle. There you are. So you don't need a whale tail. Um, yeah, they are nice to have. Everybody's got one. But do you know if you do a load of circles and then do that? You've got a load. Um, and you can just use, well, like you can with your, your whale tail punches. You can just use up all your, your little bits and pieces. And I'm just cutting these. And then I'm just my own wrap around just out of some. 
transfer paper so I'm just going to trim this down okay now as we already said that's three and a half so we want this to be at least seven yep so we can trim that off Right, I've decided I'm going to use a different bit of paper. So I'm going to use this. This is one of the backing sheets on the, the Winter Days kit. So I've just decided that I want it that height, which is roughly about four inches. So I'm just trimming this off. Oh, I've not done that very well, have I? I'm getting terrible. And this is how I would get the middle, so they're overlapped. That one's overlapped, that one. So what I'm doing is I'm going and that is the middle there. So I've got equal amounts there, so it's just before the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roughly do that there, that there, there's my pencil there. And just do that one. And align those lines up with one of the creases. And there, that's that's it fastening in the middle. So then Oh, 
right so i'm just going to take another little shaving off there and i'm going to angle punch the edges the open flaps Okay, so this is nice and like icicles now and if there's any pencil mark on it now is the time to to rub it off decide which way is the right way up and put that in there like that and we'll have a little bit of a thumb notch here and all right so I'm letting the the bottom bits stick out a bit and this is when you'll get your edge straight and again what I'm doing is I'm going for the middle so I've got it just before there so that that's on the middle that and I want my holes round about there and again I'm just now I've got this tag this is a die cut um that i picked up from timu so it, it does this part and it does this part and you've got your slits so i think what i'm going to do is i'm maybe going to put that one in there quite like that there maybe it's going to use one of these And I'm just moving that to the middle. And then we want a page pocket down here. To do a page pocket, um, this isn't doubled over, so I'm just going to double some. just using the, the top line of the text as my line to cut and that's enough Perfect. Okay, and then stick our little pocket down like that. And we've got some more little tags. Okay. 
And then I think what we'll do is we'll do a little little bit on there. and I think we might have a little bit of ripped put that there and blustery quite like that word blustery it's a blustery day today I can hear the wind A bit of glue outside. Put that in there. And I think we'll have Found a big heart. Should we have that there? Or should we have that one on there? I think we'll have that one on there, won't we? Don't have an awful lot of these left. These came from QVC many, many years ago when I first got this. That came from QVC too. So we've got that one. We'll have a, a buff coloured one. And that was a little bit hard, so I think that's the wrong. And that smoothed it out a bit, yes. And
I got away without putting any glue on it. And you can use anything. You can use string, baker's twine like I've used. You can use lace. Um, basically, you can use anything. And then what we do is we've got the and there we have three pockets, three pockets ready to go in. So I think what we may do is we may make um a pocket, probably a boot page pocket or something. Um, to go not quite sure or I might do a hinge and have them coming out like that that probably would be good because this would make a nice tuck spot we could put that on and have one tucked behind there could have one that comes out I think I probably would have that one that comes out and that one tucked in or well, that one that comes out like that and have like a tuck spot behind it for putting other things in and have two pockets there Not sure we'll do that on another one because we will be doing some pockets so i hope you get something from that so these are the wraparound tags they're easy to make um the tags are a freebie so if you want you, you if you want to use these tags you can download them um if not it's three and a half inches wide by 6.1 in in length um and you can round the corners edge the corners you can do whatever you want so i hope you get something out of that and i'll see you in the next video bye